A very good morning to all of you. Um, I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to the school, the principal, Dr. Freethi, for organizing this, inviting me to be a part of this amazing TEDx event. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not going to actually bore you with hapless slides that you see over here. This is just for me to ensure that I keep up with the theme of this event. So as you see, the entire discussion is about building bridges using the uh, adventure of technology and how we transform education. So I come from a company called Brainy and Bright. So this company started with, let's say, three people back in the US. Uh, what started as an online artificial intelligence training company has now uh, moved on to providing more than 150 plus programs and technology. Now, someone like me, coming from a very different background, like I come, from a very, uh, I come from a finance background. I worked as a banker with a company called Goldman Sachs uh, back in Bengaluru. I worked as a research analyst with Converges. We were working for clients like Dun & Bradstreet. All this while, I had been preparing to make a good career in finance. Call it fate or something, I ended up landing in technology because technology was something I was very, very curious about. Uh, I grew up in a city called Jimshedpur, uh, which is up north in Jharkhand, and the only introduction to computers that we had was in grade four. So I come from a school called the Loyola School, which was one of the first schools in India to introduce personal computers. It was such a distant dream for us to even own a computer back home. We are the 90s kid. Um, the dot-com boom and the dot-com crash happened the advent of internet happened in front of us. Um, I remember making projects uh, using Encarta Encyclopedia, which is almost extinct. I mean, it's no more there. Uh, now I see the kids uh, using internet in the best of their abilities. A lot of things have changed. So all this while, you know, uh, we've seen internet uh, growing leaps and bounds. Internet, which was uh, within a reach of few is now accessible uh, in almost every part of the society today. So, I mean, this is like how a normal classroom uh, of 80s and 90s or 60s would look like. Um, we certainly have this kind of a classroom structure even today, but a lot of things have changed the way the trainers interact with the students, the way uh, the subjects are taught at the school, and Technology has really brought about a lot of changes. Um, so not a lot of changes has happened in terms of the way we sit in the classroom, but as you see, there are stages of evolution. Now, whiteboards are almost being replaced by smart boards everywhere. Like UAE is uh, at the forefront of uh, technology revolution. And back in many other countries, uh, you see a lot of uh, changes happening in the classroom. Now, these are some of the classes of the uh, future, as we call it. You will see a lot of schools promoting robotics, uh, programs like artificial intelligence. Uh, aptly so, this school has, uh, you know, Cambridge High School has been really promoting AI because they know what AI can do and how AI can transform. Um, you know, we have a very big research team based in New Jersey, uh, which does a lot of research into what are the most... Uh, uh, I mean, what are the highest selling programs for the students uh, across the globe? And when I mean students, it can be high school students, the university students, the college students. So some of the programs that you can see uh, that are really doing the rounds is AI, Internet of Things, cybersecurity. Uh, then we have DevOps, you know, and there are different technology programs that have now become uh, the genesis of job creation or uh, anything related to IT today. So, I mean, how many of you are aware of ChatGPT? Has it, I mean, it's, it's uh, the evolution of ChatGPT is amazing in itself as part of open AI research. Um, ChatGPT has almost shaken the world of search industry. You see, uh, Google uh, almost had a monopoly of search. It still has. I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not debating the fact that Google still owns uh, the search industry, but ChatGPT for sure has shaken it. ChatGPT has almost streamlined the way uh, we look at how things we search on internet. ChatGPT is 
currently the best specimen of machine learning, which is a very important aspect of AI. And it is one of the reasons, uh, as I was reading somewhere, that Google has issued uh, a red code alert to all its Googlers because Google sees it as a big threat. They do have, Google has also come up with something called uh, Bard AI. They're still working on it, but somehow ChatGPT has taken over, has led the race. And uh, it has almost become, uh, though they're in two different uh, line of industries, uh, it has almost become a Microsoft versus Google war right now. And with a lot of layoffs happening recently, uh, there is a lot to do, a lot to do with the way ChatGPT is faring versus Google. So I just wanted to bring to your attention uh, to some of the most popular programs of uh, 21st century. So, you know, normally if you look at uh, the popularity of the programs that I see across the globe, Python has become the most popular programming language in the world. So in terms of number of users, the three most popular programming languages are JavaScript, Python, and Java. But off late, and especially since 2010, Python has almost overtaken many other programming languages. Um, it is imperative. Uh, it's not a question of whether you, one should learn Python or not. It has almost become uh, a necessity. It's, it's all, almost as important as maths and science or English. You know, Python is the language of artificial intelligence today. You cannot get into the world of AI if you have no clue of what Python is. And the beauty of Python is it's a very, very easy programming language to learn. I mean, AI is a very, uh, as, as AI is almost heard everywhere, every, every day in some or the other form, you keep listening about AI. AI is a very umbrella term. You know, there are so many things within AI, like we have machine learning, we have computer vision, we have deep learning, we have natural language processing, we have data, data science. AI is a very, very important thing. AI, is, AI has come. I mean, AI is something that you cannot ignore. Um, Three or five years down the line, either you have, either you have jobs which are AI related or AI enabled. So to get into AI, it is very important that you really master the fundamentals of Python. And of course, there are other programming languages as well. Uh, AI is something that will be here for many, many decades to come. It's still at a very nascent stage. It is still growing. It is still evolving. Chat GPT is just one such example. There are several other AI tools and machine models uh, that are going to be there and that are going to disrupt the entire world of education. Now, it is very important that we understand that we are almost at the brink of third phase of internet revolution. We are now moving from web 2.0 to web 3.0. We have not yet quite reached there, but web 3.0 is the new reality. It is important for all of you to go and do a lot more research about web 3.0. You know, the emergence of blockchain technology, the emergence of metaverse, um, emergence of artificial intelligence is a testament in itself what Web 3.0 can do. Now, let's talk about what Web 2.0 does. Web 2.0 is the internet that we are using today, uh, which is almost controlled. E either there is a business organization or either there's someone at the Elm of Affairs controlling the way we use the internet. So here the businesses or here the organizations are controlling our search, controlling what we need to look up on internet, what our preferences on internet should be. Web 3.0 takes away that ownership. It decentralizes the entire process of search. That's what blockchain technologies are all about. Uh, you know, that's what uh, cryptos are all about. We, we heard a lot about cryptocurrencies like Dogecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum. It's all based on the blockchain technology. A lot of times I'm questioned whether, you know, this is going to be there, the Bitcoins are going to be there, Ethereum is going to be there. Uh, things may change, but digital currency is going to be there. Why? Because it really eliminates the intermediaries. It eliminates the need of going to a bank. You can 
actually deal, you can actually transact with another person or with another group or with another company without any bank. So Web 3.0 is the new reality. It is important, students as of today, that you prepare your career, you take steps towards enhancing your ideas, your career towards Web 3.0. Web 2.0 is not very scalable. It has a lot of limitations. Uh, it does not really match with the requirements of AI metaverse. It is important that we start understanding, we start learning, we start doing a lot of research in the field of Web 3.0. And Web 3.0 is almost disrupting, changing the world of education. So as I want to bring to your attention, so when we started in 2019, um, I know for a matter of fact, we started as a robotics training institution. So all we had a plan was uh, to start, uh, I mean, to train students in robotics because robotics was such a norm here in the UAE. It was such a catch call phrase. Every school and every institution out there wanted to do robotics. It still is one of our most popular programs, but let me add here, Today, our highest selling programs are not robotics anymore. Today, our highest selling programs are Metaverse, Python, and AI. So these are some of the most popular programs that you should, or these are some of the most popular career options that you should look at. AI is, of course, one of those things. Uh, Metaverse, blockchain, and augmented and virtual reality. This is something that you really need to look into. Um, if you are planning your career in the field of technology, uh, which one should actually, uh, these are the fields that you should be looking at. So, I mean, I, I'm just uh, putting out numbers over here. Uh, McKinsey, you know, McKinsey and Boston Consulting Groups, they come up with a lot of uh, these numbers, and there is a lot of furor about how automation or how the world of AI is uh, going to uh, rule out a lot of jobs. It is very true that a lot of jobs that we see uh, is a possibility today will no longer uh, will no longer be there and uh, you know as you can see the numbers over here that there will be uh, a lot of jobs that would be created or probably more number of jobs would be created than the jobs that are being uh, displaced so there are, i mean the key takeaway is there are two things that you need to really know if you want to make your career uh, if you want to get into the career uh, of anything like you want to be a musician you want to be a banker you want to be uh, you want to be a scientist or whatever it is. It has to be either of the two things. E either it has to be IT or it has to be ITES, that is IT enabled services. One cannot imagine life without technology today. Technology is everything, be it education, be it finance, be it banking, be it any field. Everything is all about technology today. Now, the question is, what should you do today? It's simple. Just go and research, learn, um, do internships, work with companies. You don't have to go to the college right now to do internships. You don't have to go to college to know about Web 3.0. You don't have to go to a college to get a degree. Uh, you don't have to uh, go to a college to have an understanding of these concepts. Um, I was working with an edtech company uh, called Simply Learn, which was all about uh, promoting, uh, you know, professional uh, training programs. So the most popular programs used to be um, project management, uh, you know, Prince2 and ITIL and such stuff. But fast forward today, uh, when we look at the most popular programs, uh, or when their team looks at the most popular programs today, it's cloud computing. It's Amazon Web Services. It's Microsoft Asia. So, you know, what you need to really do today is, beyond your books, beyond what you do, you need to really understand what Web 3.0 is, uh, what Metaverse is all about. Go and research about cloud computing. Go and research about Amazon Web Services. Uh, go and research about DevOps, for example. This will give you a greater clarity as in how you should plan your career three or five years down the line. So all I want to add here is that technology is 
real. It, it really has changed a lot of things. It has disrupted almost every industry. Web 3.0 is a true reality, and AI is here. AI has almost come. AI is there to, uh, it's going to be there for the next uh, 50, 55 years. It's going to evolve, constantly evolve. So it is very important that you constantly upgrade and upskill yourself, um, constantly change your directions, change your goalposts, and uh, do not have one frame of mind. Do not always uh, look for what we did in 90s, what we did in uh, early 2010, things have changed. You can be sitting right here at your home and be working for some of the biggest companies. There is a very famous website, uh, probably you can look up through it. In fact, you can start working. Um, you can start working with big clients or big companies on that uh, website, and that is upwork.com. You know, you sit at home, you do a lot of freelance projects. That way you upskill yourself, you earn as well, and you understand what is really happening in the market. So what, what you really learn and what you really do is very different from what the market requires. So you don't have to follow a certain path to reach a certain place. You can do everything right now, um, right now here at the school itself, at the school stage itself. So just uh, continue upgrading and upskilling yourself. This is uh, what I would like to uh, end with. Constantly work with uh, uh, you know, startups or big schools, or develop your own tech products, get it patented, be very entrepreneurial in approach, um, you know, imbibe technology to the best of your use. So that's what I wanted to end with, and I wish all of you all the very best, and I look forward to many other such discussions. Thank you.